so we so we back from commercial break. Pay you know what I'm saying? We back from, we back from paying these bills, and bro got a big stack here. You know what I'm saying? What what that come from, bro? Yeah, my my motherfucking partner and them just bust down. <laughs> that quick just paperwork bust done. Just bust down, man. Back Pick, in. Back in. Front in. Front in. Front in. Front in, nigga. No convo. No, well, hey. Boom in on the motherfucking no convo shit. Hey. Bang right there, man. No convo. It's yeah, gonna pop man. up. Them folk fuck with me, man. The first motherfucker believed in me for this show shit. You know, they know I'm gonna do what I supposed to do, you know. I'm gonna goddamn put cars all side the road at that motherfucker. <laughs> y'all, right? y'all got any date set? You, you feel me? Yeah, we got a date set, but we okay. ain't gonna announce that right now. I'm gonna let them folk do that. Mm-hmm. But as for uh, the square business, square business been took care. Of. Just the just the front end to the back end. <laughs> you feel me? You plan on putting any new music out before before the show so they can have Man, something I'm new to go off for while movie, you want to get them? I'm finna put a mini movie out a week after y'all look at this. I'm gonna, uh, if you see this on the motherfucking YouTube so or whatever. You, so you back so you back working, you back in the movement. Everything on go right now. It's over with. Okay, so that hey, what hey, that what the people want. Hey, that's what the people want to know. Hey, 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 you seen you seen Lil Boots in the movie? Nah, I ain't seen it yet. I would watch it, but I ain't seen it. Oh, okay, okay. I, see, I, I ain't see. had no time, bro. Oh, he back out here. I got, I got about, I got three, four businesses, bro. I got a paint businesses where I paint myself and shit, bro. I done been there. Interior, exterior. I got a exotic American bully business. We want to see some of them. We want to see some of them. Exotics. You know TDE. What I'm TDE. That's why it's on strong TDE on my motherfucking Instagram and shit. Uh, I got a motherfucking uh. Delivery business and shit, twenty six footer with the lift gate. That's the pl- that's the play right now. Yeah, man. that's the play hey, right hold now. Hold on, hold on. I got contracts with motherfucking all the Lexus dealerships, Ford dealerships, uh, Honda dealerships, nigga. And all you doing, nigga, you put your driver in that hole and you just going to the hub, nigga, to the airport and dropping they motherfucking car all uh, parts and shit off to the dealerships. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, I got to ask this question because I know a lot of people wondering, like, you know, you've been so low key lately. Why why now? Bro, to be honest with you, I was on, uh, I ain't no, I'm a quiet nigga, but I ain't no pussy nigga, or no scary nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm a smart nigga, so like, when I was on probation, I had to be on probation, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Probation means you gotta be here. Rules and regulations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you want to goddamn get out here and get to the real paper. So I was just following rules and regulations. You know what I'm saying? Not fucking with too many felonies and uh not really, you know, indulging in the fuck shit or the bullshit, entertaining it or nothing. Because it would have put me where my partner Killer Creep still at. Feel mm-hmm. me? Because he ain't want to follow the program. But I knew how to follow the program. So when niggas say on strong this or he that a lot of shit I couldn't entertain you know what I'm saying even though it was shit it eat me up I lost plenty of nights of sleep my nigga but I'm right here right now yeah, you, you know what I'm saying gotta, you gotta have I real got discipline dog you gotta have real discipline cause I did community control yeah. and I couldn't abide by this you gotta have real discipline to be able to abide by what them crackers talking about Definitely. you know what I'm saying to not go back to jail cause a lot of people just be like fucking and take that chance yeah. that risk and that one time boy yeah back in there Done. You know what and, I'm saying? Hey, so so so. With that being said, I gotta start. I'm I'm gonna say some names. Yeah. I'm gonna say some names, and I, and, and, and I and I just want you to like you know tell me what you feel about them, and I don't even care how long they you humans. Go. They humans. <laughs> they not dogs or cats. Nah, they humans. <laughs> they humans. I'm gonna say some names. All right, let's I, go. Hey, you ready? Bring it on. First name I'm gonna say out the gate. Willis Slater. Willis Slater, which one? The, the daddy or G? Nah, Junior. Junior's a bitch. The Junior's da- a hard cold bitch. You know, you, you know the See, daddy too? Yeah, the daddy is a legend. The daddy is the governor. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know what happened to the son, but you know, with the, the Junior, Junior's, the boy ain't got smoky since the 90s, man. You know what I'm saying? This nigga got a face full of motherfucking gray hair. Nigga keep the Beijing in his fucking backpack. 
God. You know what I'm saying, bro? You keep Beijing in your backpack and you fucking with a nigga, man. Allegedly. Oh, this the but oh, but this but oh, this but on the internet. Ain't shit. Oh, this alleged. this the internet. This hey, is oh, oh. Yeah. so this ain't a legend. Yeah. Ain't shit alleged with that nigga. That nigga's a bitch. Oh, so this the because because a lot I know a lot of people seeing that. Um, okay, let's just put it like this here. I'm just finna yeah, any nigga who was in the club harem that night. You, you say he, was on, go, hair, he and, was on hair run. No, Club <laughs> Harem. Oh, okay. It's a club on Lee Road. We're going to go back to 2012. Mm-hmm. And, you know, me and Mook, my little brother, we had all, all, all differences and shit okay. like that. And, you know, we was beefing or whatever you want to call it. And we s- s- supposedly told Mook, oh, you can't come in the city or some old pussy ass shit, which I highly regret, cause that's my little brother. I love him, mm-hmm. you know. But at the at the end of the day, I had to stand on that business. Mm-hmm. So Mook had a uh, album release party at Club Harold, and uh, who was the who was the number one stepper with him? I don't know. You tell me. We from Games. Willie Slater Jr. <laughs> Dude, he was supposed to be the number one stepper. You dig it? So soon as me and my niggas, we come in the in the door. Willie Slater ran in the DJ booth. Jake, you thought that nigga spin records? Dollar bill. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, but listen, though, listen, though, on, listen, on, though. On Players Club. At the same time, though, you, you thought that nigga was dollar bill or something. At the, at the same time, though, you like the boogeyman of rap when it comes to Orlando, uh, West, uh, West Orlando, bro. You like the boogeyman. No, that's who that nigga think. He's the boogeyman. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga was selling that motherfucking mook after that, uh, playing with his name, playing with Meatball name, playing with motherfucking Leak Baby name. Playing with motherfucking man, many niggas. Pat D name man, so many niggas. That nigga so, always coming at niggas, nigga. That nigga came at me, nigga. I iced that boy. Hey, so hold on, hold on. So hold he on. wasn't a rapper. He just like a nigga known for being. So, with, brother, so nigga ain't I'm shit. trying to find. Who, so hold on. So, you know what so I'm saying he's just so, a random like he just so, on so, clown time like that. So he fought with Moot Boy, and then he kind of. He sold out Moot Boy. Yeah, so him and Moot Boy ain't cool. Either. They not cool right now? No, man. That nigga turn on everybody he fuck with, bro. Yeah. That man, man, that man ain't nothing authentic about that nigga, man. So with the situation with Moot, you feel like it was people in between y'all that put a battery in one of y'all back to make y'all go at each other? Or you, no, what it happened? was some personal, like some personal discrepancy. No, what happened with me and Moot was when Moot first got out of prison. To my belief, I believe MBI had already went to the prison and spoke with Moot. Mm. Like, hey, Armstrong and them is under investigation. Would you like to help us out or whatever, whatever? Homie didn't agree to help them out or no, no shit like that. But I believe that's why when he got out of prison, he distanced he himself. Did, he distanced himself. Okay. And he fucked it with the Daytona niggas. Never got history for fucking with Daytona niggas. So I never could understand why would my homie who we we built this shit with just Shaq stop. and Kobe. Yeah, yeah. You, you think Shaq and Kobe go to uh Daytona like this and embrace these guys. So like later on it came to me. You know what I'm saying? After I'm sitting in the cell and watching, I said, Boy, Mook already knew this shit was smoky. You know what I'm saying? That which is cool to like, hey, if you know some shit popping, separate yourself away from that shit. But if you you gang for real, you supposed to got at a nigga on the low and say, God damn, bro, you know them folk came at me and say, hey, they watching y'all, y'all yeah. folk on the investigation. Yeah. So you think it should have been a conversation before it been yeah. like an act. I understand that. I understand but, both but, sides though. Hey, but. so 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 this my thing. So Moot Boy distanced himself from you. And he ain't say nothing. Y'all brothers, y'all done did so much stuff. Chase that sack. Bust nigga dick. Do all that. He ain't say not one word to you at all. He ain't try to warn you in no way. Tell you nothing. But and, but to be honest, you know, I'm just this is just my opinion. I don't even know if you don't know. people really talk to him. This is just how yes. I'm thinking. So there's no you paperwork on Moot Boy. No, nothing. Hell no. So he's solid in the streets. Is You know what I'm saying? Like We can say that his name is still legible. He's just as solid as any nigga in the streets, if you mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everybody do their little shit. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Work their little moves, you know. But that's my little bro. I love him, and I'm going to stand on that. And, and, and a nigga can't fuck with him in my presence. Bro, that's, that's real. That's, that's 100. real. Man. Hey, that's did, real, did you did you happen to see that uh the verses between him and Woo? Yeah, I seen bits and pieces of it on YouTube. What you think? Who won? 
Come on, man. What kind of question is that? I for sure think <laughs> a little bro one for sure. But you know, both of them guys put on a nice uh performance. Mm-hmm. Uh I like some of Whoop music and yeah. I love Mook music. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's definitely. As, together as artists, them. as artists, I think both of them bring something different to the game. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I got respect for both of them. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no hater shit in me. I got respect for them niggas. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. I was gonna yeah, ask you real. that. I was gonna ask you that when it come to like move. You ever felt like you ever felt you never felt like the position he in. That's the position you were supposed to be in, or not more. But, I don't know. Hey, but, shit, no, just no, saying, no, I'm like, gonna speak facts. We're gonna stay with the, the facts. Okay, let's, let's do it. I I got out of prison November twenty six two thousand eleven. Twelve. Oh, I thought it was twelve. No, nah, I went back to jail in twelve. Okay, mm-hmm. I went even out a year. But I got out of prison November 26th, homie, the day after Thanksgiving, to be exact. Uh, up until I caught my racketeering case, I turned down three three deals, my nigga, like million dollar deals. Like, for real, you look at my, my internet presence, nigga, I'm at Soldier Boy House, nigga, this nigga paying me to come up there to be his friend. For the weekend. Hey, I remember you know that. Saying, hey, hey uh, I remember that. Like, that was, that's facts. Like, bro, like, we talking about- That's facts. 10 years ago, bro. So when you yeah, asked me, like, if I was supposed to be where Mook at, Mook is only where I was in 2012. <laughs> hey, but listen, I'm just no. keeping the hey, facts. Hey, just, but bro, I love, bro. But I don't I'm mean just to keeping cut the facts. Though. The facts, my nigga. But, bro, how much money was you making out here for you to turn down three, four motherfucking dick? Because, bro, a million dollars, bro, I'm not turning no million dollars down to the situation, right? Bro. How many brothers? Shit. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Before I, you answer, I understand that you don't want no three sixty. Hey, but right. this niggas eating off three sixty right hey, now. Hey, you know what hey. I'm saying? They but, but they build they shit. That when they when they when they when they come to the agreement of the deal, and when it's over with, they go do their own. Hey, thing. hold on, hold on, hold on. Their own hey, now, now before you answer that, yeah. This motherfucking GG podcast right now. Go on, subscribe to this shit right now. <laughs> hey, hit the notification. Do all that shit because, hey, we bring no convo our, we the bring, label. We, no convo the label, man. Hey, hey we, we bringing a real. So, hey, this is real facts and real street people, real people, you know what I'm saying, from, from Florida know this. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely. Hey, that, that's why he ain't play football, but it's cool. He was in it. Hey, so fuck eight. the football. I'm talking. I'm talking, so about the, I'm talking about the million hey, so dollar deals balls. that he was on football. I'm talking about the deals hey. that was on the table. Hey, that's hey, what no. I'm talking about. Who the hey, fuck ain't hey, gonna hey, sign on, hey, on hey, no deal? Hey, yeah. hey, hey. Now you, you, you. Hey, we talk about somebody who just made. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even about that eight, right eight, now. Eight to ten, <laughs> right in our face. So, hey, we talk. Hey, let let's just. And I'm gonna let bro do it. I don't, I don't dick ride none of that own politics. I'm gonna let bro do this. But I'm shit. saying though, bro, you turned so many speak, deals speak, down. You you speak had to facts, know you bro. was worth more. Speak fast. You had to know you was worth more, and they lowball you, or you was already making enough hey, money hey, to where I, you can, ain't need the can shit. I, can I say a bro, fact? A, a lot of rappers. Hold on. A lot of rappers that's rapping right now. They might need that two hundred and fifty thousand, five hundred thousand hey. to come out their situation. Hey, can you know I speak? A, can I? Can I speak a fact? That's why I'm asking. Can I speak a fact? Can I, before you say anything, can I speak a fact, bro? I'm listening. Fucking facts. Go ahead. This a fact. This is a fucking fact. On GG Pop, I swear this is a fact. The first time I I I talked to bro, bro had he showed me a picture. He showed me a picture, and it was like three, four million dollars on the table right in front of him. Fact? Absolutely. That's Man. why he ain't take a million. Okay, that that's what I want to know. But dig it. See this this is where I'm coming from, bro. Like okay. Since a little nigga, bro, I was a little nigga. When I say a little nigga, I'm talking about 13, 14 years old, my nigga. Uh, I'm from Liston Court in Coverton, my nigga. Like, I was running the cars with the grown niggas. You know what I'm saying? 20 niggas out there running to Jesse Lee truck, Brody truck. You know what I'm saying? All these kind of motherfuckers. Now, I'm getting the scraps because I'm the littlest nigga out there. But it's mm-hmm. like... I'm like, damn, I'm probably making a, I'm selling probably 10 rocks a day. How can I get some real paper? So you know what I went to doing, my nigga? I went to, I said, I'm going to say $30 every day, my nigga. Every three days around that last, it was 36 to 90. So that third day, I put an extra 10. 
So I'm saving a hundred dollars every three days, my nigga. I don't know if meaning, it's the alcohol. I just don't know math. Meaning, but you I'm just selling, lost the I'm fuck selling out of fucking, I'm sorry. bro. I'm selling a fifty pack of dope every fucking day, bro. Yeah, okay, fifty. Every okay. three days, I'm making a hundred dollars, man. And you putting okay. thirty up. Yeah, you so, following so, that? So, so I, I hear so, now. I, you just lost me. I'm, I'm, I'm listening now. Go ahead. So three days, a hundred. Six days, two hundred, and you just keep going and you keep going. Saying that to say this. I always had a strategy with getting paper if the block was uh, booming, if the block was slow. Because it's never about how much you make, it's what you say. What saved. you say. You, you know always what I'm told saying? Me that. And uh, to get to where you at saying, like, you know, why I didn't take that deal or whatever, it was just because I wasn't just thinking about me. It wasn't about the money I showed you. It was about... If I signed for goddamn say one, well I was gonna sign for the one point two, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know, cash, liquid cash. But anything before then, like the Rick Ross deals and the uh, Kevin Prather deals with Atlantic and shit like that, I turned them deals down because my mama wouldn't have felt that I had a deal. My daddy wouldn't have felt that mm-hmm. I had a deal. So you wanted my to take care of everybody. My closest niggas wouldn't have felt that I had a deal. You wanted to take care of everybody, so that's why the million Absolutely. dollars ain't make sense. Yeah, and right. then you know Absolutely. you got to know a million dollars ain't a million dollars. One point two is probably uh, about three hundred thousand, three hundred and fifty thousand. After you pay taxes and you pay your whoever set up the deal, nah, your manager and all it's, that, it's more than that. Probably listen about though, three, four hundred thousand, But listen though, all money ain't good money. Fact, you feel me? If you can see. I done got more money in my life just talking than a nigga with a AK-47 in his hand. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Literally, like, what I'm telling you, bro. I can That's You real. can drop me off anywhere in the motherfucking world. As long as I can bathe and get a good shave <laughs> and put on some clothes, nigga. I can talk a bitch out some money. You got a mouthpiece. You know how to work your jelly, dog. That's what it, you know? Man, come on, man. 100000 now, man. Been a $100,000 nigga since a teenager, bro. I ain't never been no millionaire, but I can move like the millionaire. I can fuck a millionaire bitch. Don't <laughs> fuck a lot of these millionaire niggas, bitches. Uh, you know Orlando Magic, bitch. allegedly. Orlando Magic, <laughs> nah, that shit, shit. <laughs> allegedly. You been fucking with the Orlando hey, Magic uh, cheerleaders and hey, shit like that, man. Hey, nah, but honestly, hey, so hold. I, I got, I got, I got a question for you. Because I be seeing a lot of things online. A lot of people be thinking that you scared. A lot of people be thinking like, "Oh, you know, he man, he running, he this, he that." <laughs> but hey, hey, but this the thing though. <laughs> hey, 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 this the thing though. I swear that I didn't see you everywhere. I have personally. I have seen you at the Magic Malls. I have seen you going to get goddamn uh, Jamaican beef patties. You know what I'm saying on Cologne. I swear to God. Let's Am say I- this though. Let's say this. Just freeze. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Let me say this. Okay, everybody know Armstrong, but Armstrong know nobody. God always. Listen, what I'm telling you, bro. Everybody know Armstrong, but Armstrong don't know nobody. I don't know the nigga who was just watching my video last night. Don't. I don't know these niggas. So, bro, I ain't got. I ain't no poor ass nigga. Every time I go live, I'm in the same fucking shit, bro. I got a glass motherfucking roof, big as a, a hundred inch screen TV, bro. So like. I live in Orlando, Florida, bro. Mm-hmm. Hey, it talk. don't call. Hold on, let me talk. Do let me talk? go where I'm going, oh, bro. I got money, bro. I can move to fucking Texas. I can move to Calabasas. I can move the motherfucking wherever the fuck I want to move. If I was a fuck nigga, a pussy nigga, I'm running from a nigga, I'm scared of a nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bag up some more, nigga. When I put in to go to work release from prison. Nigga, there you have go. three things to put down. My next question. If I'm a scary nigga, if I'm a fuck nigga, or if I'm running from a nigga, nigga, I put Orlando, Jack. I did a year and a half in work release in Orlando, nigga, after the stipulations. Uh, uh, I ain't going to say stipulation. After the allegations of these fuck. 1090 niggas talking about I'm a snitch or what they gonna do to me or they gonna give me a mother put my fade on the sidewalk. Where you, you work at? Where you work at? On meals at the car wash. I was washing cars. Them niggas ain't come up there. Them niggas ain't come, man. Them niggas pussy and jive, man. <laughs> so who that make look like a fuck nigga? What? If you got a nigga, if you got a nigga and you saying this nigga snitched on your man, 
This nigga snitched on your man, and this nigga deliberately come to work release in, in Orlando and walk to the bus stop every motherfucking day for a year and a half. And don't the motherfucker don't even give I know a, somebody had to see you. Man, stop, bro. That, you ain't, listen what I'm telling you, yeah. bro. These niggas running niggas' house and kill a nigga. You ain't gonna kill the nigga at the bus stop mm -hmm. if you a gangster. Suck my dick, nigga. These nigga bitch niggas, bro. I don't respect them, bro. They fuck niggas. They get amongst themselves and they gossip like bitches, nigga. Them niggas ain't gonna do shit, nigga. I will fight shit. any one of them fuck niggas, punch them in their motherfucking dick suckers, nigga. There you fuck have them it. Fuck them niggas. There you have it. Hey, hey, they faggots, hey. nigga. They ain't, it's proven, nigga. Look at the facts. I ain't never ran from them. They can never send you a video of me running from them. One of them bitch ass niggas. Them niggas ain't even come to the work release and say I'm plotting, I'm strong with doing nothing. They can suck dick, nigga. They faggots to me. Shit. I stick a broomstick in them <laughs> niggas' ass, man. Damn. God damn. That's man, not like sodomizing. That. Hey, but listen, though, it's, you you think you think a lot of people will say that that's not smart because a, a lot of a lot of like rappers that been in the limelight like, been getting killed in their cities, not just anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I got a puss ass city with oh. puss ass niggas. I beef with pussy niggas. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no only only steppers is the steppers love me. Mm -hmm. Don't don't you can't see, that's, the, see so, that's why I'm cocky like this. Cause the steppers is my family. Mm -hmm. I'm an ex stepper. But do do it make you see what you, I'm saying? Do, do it's it, stepper in my DNA. Look at me, man. I'm a real motherfucking deal, Jake. You can't just walk around with this shit on like this here and goddamn have your way like this here if you ain't never stepped on a nigga motherfucking thok. I don't step on Jamaican thoke, Haitian thokes. White boys, folks, nigga, they can suck my dick, nigga. I'm for real, bro. Whenever you seen Daniel do something, D boy, when that, whoever D boy ever robbed, that, who D boy ever gave a haircut? Just facts, though. Who <laughs> haircut D D boy ever cut? Suck my dick, Daniel. D, D boy makes some good music. You don't like D boy Man, music? That's music, though, bro. That don't make yeah. you no no gangster. Yeah, that, that. So you talking you do, street you do. D boy versus rap D boy? Rap D boy good, but street D boy rap D boy ain't even good. He's a bitch. I like all. I like all their music though. I rest ain't gonna piss. lie. He I can like rest in piss because in his brother the police. I like all their music though. I will. I will. Um, man, listen, man. The man Mojo D boy brother. Yeah. Mojo is D boy brother. He stand next to this nigga. I just saw him on uh, the listen porch. Listen to thing. me. You ain't listening to me. I'm quiet. My cousin Nathaniel Dixon. It's public record. Nathaniel Dixon, man. He went Mojo in the depot, man. Went crazy in the depot on the armed robbery Christmas Eve, man. Two thousand and six or seven, man. We got the paperwork. I'm finna put it on the podcast, man. These niggas talking, bro. These niggas are faggots. If I were gay, I'd fuck them. <laughs> hold on. I, so I, 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 I was listening to a song, and this is, this is, this, hey, hold on, hold on. This is all allegations, cause I don't, I don't know no Orlando stuff. I don't know, but I heard you say on a song, the song that we started off with, you said something about uh, D boy baby mama did something. I ain't say that though. His girl said that. His girl <laughs> tell the, you know, your girl like that shit. You know, hey, you be with these hoes, and them hoes gonna say, ooh, but little, little German got that little thing on his dick. He be working it like this. Whatever, you feel me? Deep boy like the vibrator in his ass. Oh, she man, she what ain't wasn't trying to She wasn't trying to Spose dog She just thought That was some Freak shit You know But that one player She ain't no Yeah that's what the women Be that. doing The women always Trying yeah, to expose yeah. a Nigga when something Go he wrong He like the Motherfucking vibrating And not the deal though He don't like them big He like yeah, the Vibrating toothbrush He like the little tip <laughs> Allegation <laughs> Toothbrush No it's facts <laughs> His lady said it She told me Hey but strong Check this out though Do it make you move smarter Do it make you move smarter Cause I know me I ain't in the street, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I own a business, bro, you know what I'm saying? But even when I go home, I've been the extra cone to see who behind me. I might pass the house when I come and then mm -hmm. double back to the crib. Do it make you move smarter in general? Not not just because you, not not being saying that you're scared of a nigga, but just being smart and be the lasting out here, you know what I'm I saying? I just was on the phone with my partner the other night, and I was telling him, like, bro, Niggas get killed because they don't know their identity. They don't know they who they is. I know who I'm is, nigga. 
You ain't gonna never see Paulie Castellano or Frank Lucas or motherfucking uh just heavy heavyweight niggas, big niggas. You ain't gonna see them at no fucking let out at the cell I'm eleven. <laughs> nah. Nigga, I'm a big nigga, nigga. I don't you can't just walk up on me. You gotta get the okay. You can't just walk up on me, Jake. I ain't finna put myself in nothing I cannot control, nigga. Mm-hmm. So why the, so it ain't that you, you know, a nigga be pussy or scared. Nigga, I don't actually stuck at least a thousand motherfucking guns and motherfuckers' faces, bro. Damn. You did what I'm talking about, bro, for real, though. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? How the fuck can I ever just move freely and live freely, pump gas and be at after the club at the let out yeah. with the convertible top down like John F. Kennedy? Nigga, supposed to push my shit. Yeah, back. yeah, you asking for it. You like, hey, come nigga, on, I'm nigga, over here. Come on. You got to play by the rules. Yeah. You got to play by, by the rules. I know last summer I took them 100 grand from what you call it. So, get what? I'm going to live like I took that 100 grand from what you call it the rest of my life. My nigga. Yeah. That's so, you moving move. smart. It seems I'm to say you moving real, smart real, out here. You, I, I get, you ain't no I, crash dummy. Bro, I done got so much real street money, bro. A lot of niggas I don't forgot who I fucked over, bro. Mm-hmm. So, these niggas be tripping, bro. These niggas just be talking, bro. And then what I don't like about this new era, niggas, it's a, it's a new era. Like, we ain't, me and my niggas, we ain't come up when you had a computer. Mm-hmm. So, we couldn't goddamn just fraud up on the 100 grand. Mm-hmm. We had to actually sell rocks for the 100 grand or goddamn go... Fight the dog for the hundred grand. Go go in the nigga house and put the thing on him and put the iron on his dick till he get up. Tell us where the money at, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying, bro? See, that's what I was saying. See, but bro. now it's like these niggas can get on the computer and, and hit a little a code, and them crackers will send them some money. <laughs> And then they'll put on the right outfit and the streets call them a gangster. Nah, but listen, though, what we're talking about the social media shit, we always talk about the social media shit, double dead swore. You know what I'm saying? Like, it give everybody an opinion. And you were saying something that stuck with me. You said, man, that social media shit bullshit because I want a nigga to smell my cologne and look me in the eyes and say that shit they be saying on the computer. And I was like, bro, and it give everybody an opinion and the leeway to say whatever the fuck they want to say. Right. And the bitch who be saying against this shit, Nine times out of ten, it be a motherfucker bored alka. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck, nigga, I'ma put your fade on the curb after the lid out. Woo woo woo. This be an old motherfucking this butch. Like macho this man, ran the fucking butch. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. So and then you be letting that shit blow you, my nigga, because you a man of good character and you been on ate you a good goddamn steak or some collard green and shit. And you chilling with your baby and shit. You got your little, you know what I'm saying, TV game going. You know what I'm saying? You just join yourself and then you go on social media and hit this wolf on this motherfucker. But really, the wolf the size of that red cup behind mm-hmm. the keyboard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you let that shit get to your mental, my nigga, it's like just dumb as fuck. Crazy, my nigga, because the real steppers, the real killers and shooters, them niggas don't even got no fucking Instagram, no Facebook or nothing. So any nigga who got time to type sentences, on the motherfucking computer? How cool is that? Like, bro, really, how gangster is that? I ain't going to never speak on the nigga who ain't spoke on me, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, like that's what blew me away with the nigga Lil Willie, bro. I watched this nigga for a week, my nigga. Take his time out his day, nigga, and mine and me. Mm-hmm. Bro, I ain't got no money for you. I ain't damn sure I ain't going to fuck you. So why you mine and me? <laughs> I don't yeah. understand it. I don't get no money to mind motherfucking niggas, man. Mm-hmm. So I ain't got time, nigga. I gotta go clean Ricky shit, my dog Pandora shit. I gotta go clean, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Chanel but, shit. But like I gotta I'm spray saying. the cages down. After that, I gotta get to my emails. I gotta go take a shower. I got shit I'm doing, bro. Like, like I need a 48 hour day, bro. Yeah. So, do you focus on the people that actually fuck with you and love your music, or you block the bullshit out? Hey, we gonna we gonna get back to that question after this commercial break. Remember that question because we gonna get back to this question. But yeah, we gonna get back to you. This is GG Podcast. We gonna get back to you after this commercial break. Nights like this, I wish raindrop would fall. (laughs) Let it rain, let it rain on me. (laughs) Yeah, Mike. Yeah, nights like this, I wish, bitch. Raindrops will fall. 
Eddie hey. Kane motherfucking junior, nigga. Hey, discreet, so discreet nigga Eddie Kane Jr. What's hey, happening? So 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 we start mentioning some names. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the next name. Let's do it. You ready for it? Already. Let Let's go to the name Shaw. Oh my. Let's do it. That was a little dog. Oh my, was a little dog. You feel me? And that's the kind of crazy situation, the kind of touchy situation because so many niggas have their own opinions. <laughs> About shit that they don't even know So mm-hmm. it's my last time Even speaking on homie name You feel me First of all I'm gonna speak facts Any If you from Orlando You know a nigga they call Pat D Black Pat Let's do it Now Black Pat don't got nothing to do with this But Black Pat's son Swilly Got everything to do with this You feel what I'm saying Let's do it I'm in the county jail on my racketeering in the main unit in the jungle, nigga. In the jungle. You feel me? And guess what? Guess whose room I'm in? Shaw. No, I'm in the room Black with Pat. Black Pat's son, Swilly. Let's get it. Swilly can tell you this. Young nigga named Cash was in there. He can tell you this. Uh... Mike Bright brother or son, one of them niggas, they was in there. Mark from the park, Menace, he was in there. Long story short, my nigga, Shaw was in the on another side of the motherfucking main or whatever. But I had a little pool and shit, and the CO was like, man, Shaw want to talk to you or whatever, whatever. I say, shit, bring that little nigga over here, let him in. I put my right hand in the Bible. Get anybody who know any nigga I just said ice them. They let Shaw come in my dorm, nigga. And he wasn't even in that dorm. Wasn't even in it. Right? He wanted to talk to me and sit with me and, and be, you know, they brought him in, but they wanted to make sure it was cool with me. So this ain't alleged. This facts. This facts. Let's get it. They let him in. Let's get it. He sat on my bunk. I never heard of that shit ever happening in life. <laughs> Listen, bro, he sat on my fucking bunk, nigga. Got pictures from my motherfucking pictures, nigga. Took him back to prison with him. You feel me? Swear oh. tell you, nigga. The nigga worshipped me. Worshipped me right there. Big man told me, nigga. Bro, I'm, I hate I did what I did, allegedly. Woody woo woo. You know what I'm saying, bro? I ain't no D niggas talking, bro. So this was after he got messed up? Bro, that was That's when he was fighting it. When he was fighting no, it. he had already. He was back from prison for some oh, fighting other another shit. charge. Oh he yeah, I did call this time. So talk. So so for the people who don't know what happened with Shaw, tell what actually happened with Shaw. This the last time allegedly, we're gonna speak on it. Allegedly, 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 Shaw. First of all, is my little partner. Let's get it. The nigga who he allegedly smoked was my big partner. GG you know podcast. Now at the end of the day, we all. Came from just chilling out. You feel me? We pulled. My car was parked at Walmart. At Walmart. It's a million of them. Listen to what I'm telling you. Why your car was parked at Walmart, Scrum? Because we were going to handle a business. And I know when we got back from handling business, well, my car need to be parked at. Business still need to be operating. You feel me? Walmart 24 hours. Mm-hmm. So, whatever reason, Shaw and my partner, they arguing. It wasn't no fuck nigga or nothing like that, but they arguing. Bro, goddamn, woo, 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 woo. I'm talking to my whole some old shit, you feel me? We, I'm on the passenger side, Aaron driving, Shaw in the back seat. When we pulls up to my car at Walmart, thousand cameras at Walmart, I say, Aaron, bro, do me a solid because I was on the run at the time. I say, Aaron, do me a solid drop little dog in the hood for me. I'm finna go on to the crib. Bro, say, say less. Nigga, I get out the passenger side to walk to my motherfucking car. Little dog getting out the, the back seat from Aaron's side to come round to the front seat, as I'm thinking. Allegedly, when I get in the car, I hear a boom. You feel me? When I hear that boom, allegedly, little dog try to run to my motherfucking car. So hold on, the nigga who he shot was the allegedly shot was the nigga who dropped him off to the Walmart. He was dropping me to the Walmart, mm-hmm. and was gonna drop him to the hood. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
But, you know, they had their difference or whatever. Homie did, allegedly did what he did and thought he was just going to involve me in that shit. Like, you finna smoke homes and run to my car like I'm the getaway driver on camera to call my motherfucking bitch name that I got three kids from to go directly to my motherfucking address, Jake. And I just left Aaron's wife house with him. Aaron with Strong. Aaron ain't with Shaw. Aaron with Strong. Cause this girl don't even know this little nigga. But she know you. She know Strong. Mm -hmm. You hear me? You broke so, that down, So at man. the end of the day, bro, like, what part of keeping it real with a nigga who violate the whole code, nigga? If this, first of all, if this gang, it who okay the hit? Mm -hmm. Who okayed it? For you to do what you did, nigga. If you got a problem with the homie, any nigga from the set, nigga. He go through a channel. No, it fuck the channel. Hit him in his shit. Nigga, that's your that's your big brother. Did yeah, did yeah. did that did that? This shit. ain't no this ain't no we going to rob a nigga and a bitch got killed and I hit the nimble and say, Oh yeah, Shaw did it, nigga. It ain't nothing like that, bro. Did that did that implicate you? Says you were there or did that did it? Hell no, I ain't gonna let it implicate me because I'm a G, nigga. I got churn. I ain't gonna never let no fuck nigga play me. Yeah, cause that you that stand way. on that. You stood on your business on them cameras. Stand on your business. Mm -hmm. I ain't say nothing different for what the fuck the camera saw. Mm -hmm. You so did they, what I'm saying? And I ain't said to the motherfucking crackers. I sold. I called my nigga hot Mike because that's his partner. That's his big partner. His cousin damn near. And his wife name and shit. I called hot Mike. I said, hey man, this nigga shot him, went crazy. Woo 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? So why when niggas mention Shout name, they mention it like you 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 put the battery in his back to do whatever. That's the internet. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You actually think I'd be in Orlando if that was it was anything like that, bro? Like mm -hmm. you actually think Orlando pussy, but it ain't that pussy, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be in Orlando if I did some grease ball slime ass shit to my partners like that, that nigga. Any nigga from my day one niggas, I still fuck with. You got one of my co-defendants off camera in this bitch right now. Mm -hmm. We gonna get him on camera too. You feel what I'm saying? Right now, bro. If, so if he like, wanna speak on something, yeah, we definitely, uh, yeah. Like, bro, the internet just, I'm gonna tell you what it is, bro. The internet is like this. You got niggas like, who can fun. rap. You got niggas who can rap like D-Boy and them or, or shit like that. And all these niggas, but they they wouldn't even mention shit about the Shaw shit or shit like that. They're about no put police shit or anything if I wasn't no threat. Mm -hmm. They only mention that shit and try to tarnish my motherfucking name because they feel like long as I'm out the way, they can prosper. Yeah. But it's clear that they still can't prosper because even though you making spit a bar or you can rap, you can't entertain. Mm -hmm. See, it's a difference from a rapper and an entertainer. I don't have to rap. Yep. I could just talk. Yeah, no. You feel what I'm saying? I could just talk and goddamn get views, man. No. No. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, man. Did y'all fucking with my fan? They talk, talking to me. You talking to him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm professional shit. Man. Hey, look. I'm okay. On GG podcast. This on yeah, unprofessional yeah. shit. Hey, hey. You talk about hey, we just go with the flow I'm over here. Yeah, yeah. Do, do hey, so we go with the flow over here, dog. He was shit. shaking. His, he was shaking his head when I asked him. That's why I was saying, yeah, no. I don't know what he wanted to do. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know the shit happened. The internet. So it ain't no gangsters saying that. You know. Strong did this. It's internet bloggers and well, you got niggas who they following up behind. I mean, the like, like shit. you know what I'm saying? How can I call myself a goat? I can't call myself a goat. The people got to give me that name. Yeah, so yeah. how can a nigga call himself a gangster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is yeah. the definition of a gangster? So you got niggas who saying it verbally out their mouth that they are gangster, but what gangster shit have you done, Daniel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what gangster shit have you done? Who you shot? Yep. Gangster shoot people. Who you shot? Who you tied up? Who nutsack you cut off? You know what I'm saying? What crew you don't ran with? You feel me? I wait. Like really? What? As a teenager, who car you stole? <laughs> what baser you don't shot? You feel me? These niggas ain't got no stories, bro. 
They ain't got no stories behind their name, nigga. That's why you say that shit. Thank you, bro, bro. Them niggas, them niggas just they put their own title on. That's just like P. Diddy saying he got his doctorate degree. He's a doctor. Come on, man, stop it. I think I think more so they was running behind the video that surfaced and shit, but uh, behind the six forty five beat and shit like that. I think more so like, that was that was D boy. I think. I think more so that they was running behind the video that surfaced that whatever the allegedly the crackers had put out what you, and shit like that. What you think about that? About that, the, the little six, the four, the what it called? Yeah, six, Glock 45. 45. Yeah, Glock 45. What well, you think about No, it? no, no, not that. The video. You talk about, he, we going to get to that. Cause no. that yeah, we going yeah, to get to that. I'm saying that's why that's why they, they were going off of why, why we in Why we in a D-boy era? Because, you know, it's a lot of people that I feel like online fuck with D-boy. Like, uh... <clears throat> You know, it's a lot of people that I feel like you know fuck with him. But mm-hmm. when he when he dropped that Glock forty five, how did when you first heard it? What was your first instinct? Like what did what was, was your did first what you mindset? do? Did what you do? You listen to Glock forty five, then you listen to the Kia Bill, Kia Kia Kia, oh, murder, I heard. murder murder I heard. murder 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 nigga. <laughs> Lord have mercy on these nigga. Fuck this nigga, man. Come on, man. I'm for real, bro. That nigga can he can rap. Mm-hmm. But he ain't never stepped on a fucking roach. I wait. You tell me one nigga who he crashed. You done bust niggas dick. So that that override. Come on, the, man. That override I, the music I, shit. Man, look, man. I gunt them down in creep yard. My partner know it. I gunt them down. Hey, hold on, hold on. Alleg- allegedly. 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 Hey, we, hey, hey, hey we, we ain't gonna listen, open up bro, a case. These niggas playing, bro. Hey, it these ain't niggas no. playing, bro. I'm not with nah, the play hey, play. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not on the play play, bro. Allegedly. I'm not on the play play today. Allegedly. I'm not on the play play today. I'm not on the, I, they say I got them down, right? That's what, that what they say. That's what they say. Yeah, that's what look, they, that's look, what they say. A lot of people say it. Look what they say, I say it. A lot of people say it. Look what they say, I say it. They say, I say, bro, go on, get out from Ryan here. Niggas, they say the niggas say strong. I ain't going nowhere. Get what they say strong did. What they say it? strong shot at the nigga engine two times with a bulldog 357. Boom, boom. The nigga engine, they say it, the engine didn't work no more. Now he can't leave. <laughs> now the nigga can't go nowhere. Who the fuck do some shit like that? <laughs> nigga shot the engine. Hey man, it's GG Podcast, hey, man. You ain't give him no grace, hey, period. Hey, no, you, ain't, you ain't warn hey, him again. Hey. Like, all right, now nah, I'm gonna tell you again. Hey, you hey. ain't get a nigga a little five hey, second grace, hey, period. Hey. You went to straight to the end. Like, subscribe, <laughs> follow. <laughs> Fuck. Hey. 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 Hey, hey, man! Hey, I ain't trying to make light of hey, this. I ain't laughing. At like, this. subscribe, this and follow. This nigga say he allegedly shot a man. Let me put back on my head. I can't even hit myself. This nigga say he Wait allegedly up. shot the engine two times. You, <laughs> two th- times. you ain't get a nigga a bicycle and say, bro, this your last listen, chance, man. This listen, your last listen, chance. Listen, no. <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> all this shit allegedly. This just stories. Yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. But I'm just we since we speaking on gangsta shit and. These niggas, these my stories. These niggas ain't got no stories, bro. Mm-hmm. I got another name for you. Yeah, it took me. Killer Creek. That's my G. Talk about it. My G, you know what I'm saying? Killer Creek, goddamn, he gonna fight the dog. Bro, gonna fight the dog. You know what I'm saying? We we have our ups, we have our downs and shit like that, though. But Killer Creek, one of them type of niggas, he gonna fight the motherfucking dog. He gonna put himself in front of the danger at any any cost, nigga. Real talk. If we finna go in a nigga shit, bro, going in the nigga shit first. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Like any time, like bro, just that kind of nigga. Like he's a sacrificial lamb, my nigga, and I love him to the death for that. Like, like shit, shit unmeasurable, my nigga. When we speak on that nigga name, I know bro got a dirty name and he don't fucked over quite a few people, but I'm just speaking on me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The things that bro don't did for me and goddamn sacrificed his life for me, my nigga. So at the end of the day, bro, I'm just gonna keep goddamn praying, homie, get over his situation and get back out here so he can support his family and goddamn move to the next level as we all grow as men. One thousand. Next name. Mm-hmm. Flay Rock. Flay Rock. That's my cousin. You know we don't have political war. You feel me? That's cuz he's a bug. I'm a bug. You feel me? But at the end of the tape, at the end of the day, we might fight amongst each other. 
But I promise you this. <laughs> we burn, we burn this bitch down, down, you get a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? straight up. Real talk, man. Straight That's up. big cause, you know what I'm saying? That's my auntie's son. That's my mama's sister's son, my nigga. Like, for real, like, 80% of the shit I be on come from that nigga. Like, I can't take that away from homie. Like, nigga, I'm from, I'm talking about 12 and 10 and 9 we talking about this nigga had the big long Lincoln nigga with the candy brown, doo doo brown on that <laughs> bitch nigga. Listen to too short nigga living way too real. Doom, 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 doom. That was in the night. I'm living way too real with a motherfucking 357 slug bullet hole on the side of that bitch. When he sprayed it, doo doo brown candy, he told the paint man, don't even patch the hole. He wanted the, the bullet hole to stay in the car, nigga, to let him know that's how I live, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never it. forgot that. Do the brown. <laughs> As a young damn. nigga, I never forgot that. That was some of the illest shit I ever seen, nigga, when they robbed Jerome. They robbed Big Jerome. And any nigga from the hood back in the 80s, we speaking 87, 88, 89. Look, cuz never robbed Jerome for plenty, plenty of bricks, allegedly. Allegedly and Nigga Jerome them came through on the motorcycles Nigga Boom 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 Shot Vic Soup con Vic in the that's face like That's some Griselle de Blanco you shit You feel what I'm saying My nigga he ain't know the real story Shot, that's Vic, real. In the, shot Vic in the Bre face Brett shaking his head He said that's real Real talk Real talk I'm talking about, I come from school nigga First of all Monday I come from school Elementary Nigga I'm in the elementary Nigga I come from school the foul was here with foul time, nigga. You know how it just start it be cold a little bit. Yeah. Foul time. Oh yeah, that's the best hey, time nigga, of year too. Them boy. niggas got the Nike, the, the the turquoise Nike motherfucking nylon sweat suit song sweat suit. with the the Nike Cortezes, nigga. Oh yeah, yeah. Turquoise yeah, shit. with yeah. the with the motherfucking fur turquoise Kango. Kango. Man, stop playing, bro. We talking about Travel Fox game, Elise game. Them niggas silk shirt game with the fisherman hat. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Doing this shit like that, bro. This is where I come from, bro. Like, I didn't come from like motherfucking bullshit ass type niggas, bro. I come from niggas who really was at that shit, bro. Sacrificing their life. Nigga, I watch Fat Sean Silk and them. Carry my cousin Flav in the house, nigga. My grandma flies to the house with his knee blowed off. They robbing, doing their thing. Flav, they told him in the house. I'm like, damn, why they ain't told cuz to the hospital? The young niggas. Mm -hmm. Niggas, you know, I ain't going to call no names. I know who did it. And, you know, it was a little war going on. I was a young nigga, bro. But Flav, man, that's one of my idols, my nigga, to this day, regardless of the shit we don't been through. And shit we may still go through But I kill for that nigga And I die for him Period 100 GG Now this next name might be bittersweet Yeah I did some digging mm -hmm. I did it personally Say that Florida Fresh I don't even speak on homie I don't even speak on niggas like him Period Period I seen a video of y'all. I wouldn't go on. He don't get no listen on this joint. Y'all did a song. Y'all did a song together. None. back in the I don't know who you talking about. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Next. Let's go to the next <laughs> name. Well, next. Hood News. Hood News. I fuck with Hood News. He 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 says some bittersweet stuff about you. Hood News. That's just, just for the people who don't know who Hood News is. That's Melvin Lawson. Yeah. Melvin Lawson is just a funny kind of nigga. Hey, salute the he he brother. The nigga got some funny shit going on, man, on goddamn Instagram. He done reinvented himself. I only you know seen one video about him, and that's when he was in the kitchen with a DJ dude, and nah, he spoke. Nah, he on, got played. He, he went viral. Nah, but I, I don't know who he is. I just you know when when yeah, when you comedian. when you when you type in one name, you get other niggas. So that's just I, I don't know him. I ain't got nothing against him. I don't know nothing about him. I just know that he came up when I typed in one name. Yeah. And and I saw that. I saw him in the kitchen but, and he But the thing though, like with homie, homie is he we got a little history and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like when like no gangster, gangster shit or nothing like that. I think homie a way older nigga than me and my crew. You feel what I'm saying? When we start fucking with homie, we talking about like two thousand six. 2007 shit like that and homie was a type of nigga to where a nigga knew we was having our way 
on the west side, in the east side, nigga, the whole Orlando, we was having our way, nigga. If a nigga, nigga got his shit took or whatever, they pointed at us. And a lot of times, we ain't had nothing to do with it. But, like, Melvin liked it, that kind of shit. He like, damn, them niggas don't give a fuck or whatever. And I got some money for these niggas that they can go get. So, homie, allegedly, was, you know what I'm saying, getting a nigga direction and shit. To get nice bags and shit, forty thousand here, twenty thousand there, hundred thousand, you know, shit like that. There and uh, just speaking on on uh, real shit, like in my racketeering case and shit like that. There, you know, what I'm saying I kind of felt the weight for some shit. You know, I ain't I ain't got nothing bad to say about homie and. You know, I'm not really going to really go into the shit because it's a, it's a touchy situation. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas who was around me and really on camera doing a lot of type of illegal shit, you know what I'm saying? Them folk didn't even really fuck with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just certain shit make a nigga think, be like, damn, why this? Y'all ain't having no... A woo woo woo, you know what I'm saying? I don't be knowing. Like, it's like, yo, bitch, the, t- I'm, I fuck with 10 niggas and 10 of us robbing banks here, motherfucker, day, and nine of us go, you know? So I don't motherfucking be knowing, bro. Okay, so when 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 people, when, when it's kind of bittersweet when people type in your name, they might see some good music, like, you know, uh, they might see your videos and all that, but then they might see people saying things about you. Like, what do you think about, uh, you know, artists when they mention your name or your situation in some type of way and they don't really know, like, deep down what you know? Because you know more about your case than any other person. Like, you say your your, your paperwork was, was how big? How long? How, how, how many pages? I got 30 co-defendants, bro. So if I got 30, 33, zero. If I got 30 co-defendants, that means it's 30 motions of discoveries mm-hmm. somewhere in Orlando. Mentioning you. Hold on. If I got 30 co-defendants and it's 30 niggas from Orlando with motions of discoveries, why can't you present one piece of paper that say I did anybody something? Yeah, I don't think I seen I don't think I seen no paperwork either. Facts. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like we, I, we we do our you research, know what I'm saying? but I ain't because it should it should facts, be public bro. information, right? Facts. facts. It should be public information. I got right? thirty co-defendants, my nigga. Mm-hmm. If I got thirty co-defendants, nigga, with nigga, just ask any one of them thirty, nigga. Google the shit. Reach out to any thirty of them and say, bro, I pay you a hundred dollars for your motion of discovery, and you will see why the case called Operation. Armstrong, cause see in the racketeering you gotta have predicates, and predicates is multiple offenses that they use to make a case like a racketeering. Thursday, July twenty second, Armstrong and uh, House was meeting a uh, confidential informant number three at the Sitco and purchase X Y Z. That's a predicate. Now. The nigga who reading this shit from the society don't know who confidential informant number three is, but me and House know who number three is cause, because we know who we, the fuck we met at the sitco. Mm-hmm. Alley Cat. You feel what I'm saying? I'm oh. going somewhere with this shit, bro. <laughs> Go there. You know, and like, you know, at the end of the day, bro, I'm not in this shit. I don't get no money. I don't get paid to expose niggas. I don't get paid to, you know, dirty up a nigga name. I'm not that. My heart ain't that fucked up to just, like, not want to see a nigga feed his family. Not want to see a nigga. If I got a real problem with a nigga, it's murder or nothing. Mm-hmm. So to all these fuck niggas I always got talking Talking about my name and if nigga, if you got a problem, nigga, handle your business, bro. I ain't tripping. Yeah, the funny thing handle about handle your business, bro. But all that talking, you sound like a bitch, nigga. It's been over ten years, you bitch, nigga. Steady, wah 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 wah. Nigga, suck dick, nigga. Your mama need to rest and piss, nigga. The bitch need to rest and piss, nigga. Help your mama get that ragged ass roof done, nigga. 
in the motherfucking hood, nigga, playing with my motherfucking that's, that's 30, name. 000, that's 30,000 right there. They now. ain't got nothing better to do. They ain't got no money. They ain't having their way. They ain't getting nobody getting them no pay. They name the whole shit, bro. Hey, listen, no, they bro. little bitted niggas, bro. The funny thing about the whole situation is, I don't think it's because I, I ain't seen no paperwork produced. I think it's more of the video that the, that the police had chopped up. No, D boy chopped up. Oh, that was oh, so that one because I because we were seeing like why the fuck would the police put some shit out there? Man, Daniel did and then it that, make you, and then it make how, you look. How, how damn you got that? You tell me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even question. Guess that. what? Guess what? Google this. William William Powell MBI William Powell. Google that name. William Powell was the lead detective in my case, Jake. Mm -hmm. Get where he at? Where he at? Terminated. Mm. He did some illegal shit. Come oh, on, they paid, man. They I got 50 grand. He got paid. I got 50 grand. He got paid. Because uh, it was chopped. It was edited. Hold on, hold on, Listen, hold on. bro. I got, I got 50 grand for him sabotaging my name, bro. Mm -hmm. Google the shit. William Powell. He got, he's over with. He's probably raking grass in Connecticut. You feel me? Because I, he was so he was at my head so bad, telling my girl and shit. Oh, t please tell him to talk to me. Please tell. Him. I want fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, who? What's what's Florida? What Florida Fresh? Oh, we got you, Florida Fresh. Talking about this here. Woo, 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 woo. We talking about diamonds. Them diamonds. That ain't real. That ain't real, bro. Who is? Oh, oh, you a Mohawk boy? I'm not no motherfucking Mohawk boy. Y'all cracking no D boy to Mohawk boy? Them niggas Mohawk boy. The same shit niggas say on their music. I'm a Mohawk boy. Mm -hmm. So you ain't telling them shit that they don't know, bro. You heard the tape, man. Stop playing, bro. These niggas playing. Nah, I ain't but from here. You, but those. at the end of the day, these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Real street niggas know how you get in there and try to finesse your shit. You know what I'm saying? Woo woo woo. See what's happening. See what the cracker know. You know what I'm saying? Push. That's push what it sounds like to me. You it, feel me? It sounds like but, to me you were just but, trying to get a bond. But, but, you know bro, what I'm saying? But, bro, if, and then if I really was on, on them cracker team and got them, they were fucking with me and I was fucking with them. They wouldn't say your name. On. No. Why I sat in that bitch eight months? I sat in that bitch eight months, bro. For my bond team, I had to keep. It's public records. I had to keep getting bond motherfucking hearings, nigga. Mm -hmm. They denying my shit, nigga. I'm going back in, nigga. So if a nigga is, is, is working with the state, why the state wasn't working with me? Yeah, that makes sense. So I don't, I'm just speaking facts. So right? hold on. We're going to speak facts, right? Damn right. So, so they never really had nothing on let, you. Let's, we going to dig yeah, into they, it. The only thing they had on me was five, six, ten motherfuckers. Willing to get on the stand and testify. And with a racketeer case, that's all they need. We gonna, all they need is uh, two or more motherfuckers to get on the uh, damn thing and say the same thing. So did anybody ever go to trial from that um, out of the 30 people? Fuck, no, ain't nobody go to trial. So everybody took their time. So nobody took the stand on nobody. Nobody took the stand on nobody. But however, it was a lot of niggas ready to take the stand on me. Because the case called, who the fuck can I take the stand on? And they underneath me on the pyramid. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can only take the stand on somebody bigger than me. Mm -hmm. They don't want the nigga under me. The only reason they arrested the nigga under me is for him to, to get you bust my ass. And this was October twenty fourth, two thousand twelve. Come on, man! You was at my sentencing with me, bro. I was. I saw a Killer Creep in the back. Real praying. talk, bro. I was there. So real yes. talk. I was there. <laughs> so to see, to see, see, see this this shit yeah, that yeah, people don't know. Yeah. This shit that people don't know. So because yeah, yeah. when people when people hear about it, automatically assume you took the stand and pointed somebody out. I'm just being real, bro. Sure, tell like me. that. No, I'm saying that's that's what right, everybody. Right. Just when people, people hear, know. yeah, right, people right, that don't right, know. Right, when they right, they just right. think you did this and did right, that right, when it's not right, that. Right. So that's why it's good right. that you finally broke your but silence, check, bro. But check this out, though, bro. If I was that kind of whole nigga and had them kind of fucked up. Shit in my bloodline to get in there with my niggas who I love dearly, my nigga, who we all don't sacrifice our lives together to feed our family and say, oh, Hoss did this, Flay did that, Creep did this, 
You know what I'm saying, bro? And still live right here in Orlando, bro. Yeah, and more than that, I don't think he Man, would be. I don't on, think bro. he would be right here. Bro, it's the you know internet, what I'm saying? bro. The hey, look. internet. It's the internet. The internet undefeated. Hey, mm-hmm. so hey, we gonna take a little. It's quick undefeated, com- bro. We gonna take a quick commercial break. We gonna come right back. We coming right back with this one. And we gonna. Yeah, I, we I gotta already, pay some hey, bills. Hey, this yeah, nigga yeah, probably we, ready to go. So we gotta. We gonna wrap this yeah, shit yeah. up. We gonna come right back. Let's get. <laughs> so we back after this commercial break. You know, for the people who, you know, looking at this video, please go and subscribe to GG Podcast. Go and like, go and subscribe, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? We coming to y'all with straight uh, fire content. You know what I'm saying? Like straight from the streets. For the people who don't know, this is exclusive. You know what I'm saying? And, and bruh saying like right now, you know, from what I'm from what I'm hearing, ain't no paperwork surface on with, with your name on it. Ain't, ain't, can't nobody, ain't nobody take no stand. You ain't take the stand on nobody and point nobody out. But October 24th, 2012, you was being interrogated by MBI uh, with an operation named after you. How they got your name as the name of the operation? I won't tell you because I'm the fish. I'm the fish. You got a pawn. Normally, the pawn don't have no more than two, three big fishes in that bitch. And the other one got... Specs, now purchase. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't no motherfucking now perch or no motherfucking uh, spec. You big that. fish. So it could have been anybody. She yeah, <laughs> so did what I'm telling you though, bro. I got motion. I had motion going on. Only niggas really had motion going on was me and my direct niggas. So like, if the case name after me, I had to have the most motion because they bought the publicity. Crackers about publicity. Mm-hmm. They gonna talk about the biggest shit. They ain't gonna talk about the medium shit. They gonna talk about the biggest shit. So the the case name after me, I'm the biggest shit. So who the fuck can I tell on? You did what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So they gave you the Rico charge for the people who the not- Rico charge wasn't nothing though. That wasn't the biggest charge. See, the people just know about the Rico. Rac- rac- what what what's the what so so director. What? They gave me a director a gang activity. Everybody ain't get that ch- that charge. Which carry how much time? Life sentence. That carry punishable life. by life. That's like the um, Larry Hoover type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, director a gang activity is a life sentence, nigga. I ain't you can't plea out to that, nigga. That's life sentence shit, nigga. That shit, nigga. Look, me, Flay, Poli, and Creep. I believe had them cases. And and for the record, niggas DM message Poli on Instagram, uh, Facebook or whatever. Ice Poli, Ice Poli, what I the real recordings that they that, that they ain't leak out. Ice him about the real recordings. What his lawyer gave him, what I said. Poli, yeah, man. Poli ain't directing nothing. He's not. That's a kid. He's not doing nothing. Free him. So you so you feel like that's why they got gave you a slap on the wrist because they fucked up. Poli ain't locked up right now. It's, it, he in prison right now, ain't he? Hell no, Poli did his time. Poli out here doing well for himself, feeding his family and his children. It's my cousin. I love him to death, my auntie Rose son. So for the tape that people did here, why do you it, it man, Officer Power, that what I'm telling you, Officer Power released that tape in in anger that I wouldn't cooperate on his level and fuck with him. And, and turn over my mans. Mm-hmm. So for the for the I'm saying for the people who did hear that tape and feel like you know what they did hear was snitching. They pussy. They pussy and they ain't never been in the street. And 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 and, and let a bitch pull a wool over their eyes. Like my grandma Flossie used to say, "Boy, you ain't pulling no goddamn wool over my eyes." <laughs> I seen that shit, bitch. Mm-hmm. Get your motherfucking ass in the house. You feel what I'm saying, bro? These niggas ain't never seen nothing, been through nothing. Blind man lets you tell him everything. I feel like that's what they they fucked up at when they did that because they, they that's probably why it, it was slap on the wrist because they they dropped the ball somewhere with mm-hmm. that. Hell no, nah, I ain't getting no motherfucking slap on the wrist. How the fuck I got a slap on the wrist when I did a split sentence of five years? But oh, not you only did, did I do okay. a split sentence of five years. I lost everything I built. Mm-hmm. If we talking financially, nigga, I lost down there a million dollars. You did what I'm saying, bro? I lost my fucking house. 
I lost my motherfucking cars. Not even my cars. They took my girl cars, who, which had nothing to do with that. She don't even got a, never had a social media, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Why you take her car? You did what I'm saying, bro. When I went to the, went in, in the inside, them folk hit my shit, nigga. Them folk, I was buying my first house, bro. Them folk took my house on the golf course, my nigga. Took my Porsche truck, my nigga. Took my motherfucking BMW. Took my motherfucking uh Camry. Took my girl motherfucking BMW. Took uh all my motherfucking jewelry, nigga. Took all my mo. They got hundred and seventy three thousand dollars out my house behind the hot water heater, nigga. Froze all the bank accounts, nigga. Motherfucking uh, I'm in the county jail, bro. We got a 30-day notice. You got to get out of this house. Nigga, this house been seized, nigga, by the government. Feel me? Mm-hmm. My girl and my kids had to move with my dad, bro. See what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm in the county jail, bro. And uh, when I got out, even when I born that, the county jail, I had to move in with my dad, and nigga, with my family, nigga, like a kid, nigga. So it started you from ground zero. Bro, listen. Nigga, I couldn't even tur- touch the AC, nigga. To turn the AC is hot as fuck in this bitch. Yeah, you know nigga, I'm a kid head. again, nigga. You got them old nigga, that's man. you know, every, I respect pop love him to death, but everybody house had rules. Mm-hmm. You yeah, feel right. me? Yeah, yeah. And you know, uh pop was the type of nigga, he wanted shit said at 77. <laughs> you feel me? I'm a 60 nigga. God damn, that bitch gonna run all goddamn yeah, night. Hey, bro, so <laughs> that bitch gonna run all you know, night. I gotta hurry up and get up out like, this motherfucker, bro. So you know, after I had got bond out and shit for about a couple months and shit, I had on made a play or two and was able to uh grace of God get a little apartment. You know what I'm saying? I was staying in an apartment and shit with my family and shit and rebuild, bro. And it took me a while to rebuild, my nigga. Mm-hmm. And you know, niggas weren't fucking with me, niggas weren't showing me no love, niggas weren't giving me no hamburger or nothing, nigga. I couldn't barely eat, bro. You feel me? Like shit was crazy, my nigga, but God, bro. So uh do you feel like cause it's a lot of it's a lot of talk out there about you. And I see that, like I said, it's bittersweet. Some people love you, some people hate you. Some people, you know, they kind of like neutral. They up in the air. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of on the fence. So, you know, do you feel like you snitch? Like, it's people out here who look at you like, oh, man, he a rag. He like a 6'9". He this, he that. He did, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't got no paperwork to prove it. They just going off of what they heard on that. But no, but no, on on G-Code, they got some paperwork on the Shaw shit. That's it. feel me? On the Shaw shit. And like I explained the Shaw shit, nigga. Exactly what the fuck happened, nigga, on camera at the motherfucking Walmart, my nigga. You dig it? Yeah, yeah. Only thing them folk got on paperwork is what the motherfucking camera saw, nigga. This nigga blew home shit out allegedly right on camera, bro. Ain't got nothing to do with that shit, nigga. You went cold turkey, you bugged out, nigga. I'm not finna be a failure to your Yo, situation, shit. your motherfucking ideas or no shit like that there, my nigga. Now, I can see if we was all on the same... Shit, nigga. And shit went left. That was the, according to the plan. Mm-hmm. And shit went no according to no plan, nigga. You on some junkie shit, nigga. You a junkie stunt. That's just like saying you riding with your smoker, and you you taking the smoker to the store to get a motherfucking a glass rose to smoke his dope. And he come out running with a bag of money. Say, pull off, jit, pull off. You gonna say, nigga, you don't get your bitch ass up out of here, nigga. You got me <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Straight up. And stand on that. I stood on my business. Fuck him. Hey, so it's a lot of jits out here who coming up right now, like, you know, they the next strong. It's some jits out here We're that's We're not going to say the next strong. No, no, no. I, I got to say that because it's some jits right now that's looking like, oh, man, I'm, I'm, I want to be like this. I want to be like that. I want to be feared. I want to be, you know what I'm saying, untouchable. But, but, I want to be this. But you know what I'm saying? This, this shit here ain't no cakewalk, bro. This shit here, this shit is... Uh, this shit is real, motherfucking. Uh, this is depressed. This is a depressed lifestyle, bro. Yeah. Put you it, hear me? Put it like this. I'm gonna tell you like this, my nigga. Your most vulnerable time of getting killed. Your most vulnerable time again. Put your name on the wall, nigga. Again, ice 
is leaving home and coming home because that's the only thing you do every day. The same. Mm -hmm. You leave home and you come home, my nigga. Do you know how motherfucking nervous I be every motherfucking night I'm pulling in, nigga? You know, I'm looking at the neighbor bushes. I'm looking at the bitch bushes, side my other side of my house or whatever. Because, nigga, you, nigga, you don't did so much dirt out here in this world, not just on no pussy shit, just to feed your family, my nigga. And I'm the type of nigga to, well, bro, I sacrificed my fucking life, nigga. So my sons and my daughters don't have to never go through the shit I done been through. Don't never have to drink out of mayonnaise jar. Don't never have to eat eat motherfucking uh soup out of mustard jar and shit like that. Though, bro, this shit for real, bro. Fried bologna sandwiches and shit, nigga. I sacrificed my life and lined a lot of niggas up, my nigga, so I can live in these high powered neighborhoods with the gated communities, with the HOAs, nigga, with the cops in at the motherfucking clubhouse. I paid my money, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So like. It ain't no, it ain't no cakewalk, bro. This shit, there's a lot come with this shit, with this paper, bro. But what, what, what you would, what you would tell the next generation to stop them from going the wrong way? One thing I can, only thing I can ever tell any niggas to follow is heart. You feel me? If your heart say, goddamn, be an astronaut, be an astronaut. If your heart really like hustling. Find you some shit to hustle, my niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say, bro. Follow your heart, my nigga, because one thing about the desire in your heart, it ain't going to never lead you wrong. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to never lead you wrong, bro. So so would you, would you, so say if one of your sons wanted to rap. One of my one sons, of his do, sons rap. do rap. They do okay, rap. okay. How you support? How you supporting that? <laughs> yeah, See, yeah, I ain't know that. Huh? So how how you supporting that? Are you just showing him how to move business wise? Are you kind of like letting him bump you, his head? You know what? Are you it's, letting him bump his head? Or are you like, nah? You need to do this. You need to do nah, this. It's how kind, you do this? It's kind of crazy because up until him, this my this 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 my my young boy. I got all my sons older than him, and all. Uh, they all play sports, football and basketball, and all along going to school and shit, college, doing uh, on scholarships. Oh, but that's good, man. That's good, bro. I can never get on their level with the sports shit because I never played sports. I was going to say, when, how you dropped you remember that. Remember who was at the beat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, that nigga, <laughs> hey, boy, that nigga, <laughs> hey, boy, that nigga cannot play football, <laughs> bro. That nigga can't. So you ain't have no hoop dreams, nigga. Hey, that nigga, but hey. what I'm saying, though. Like, hey, I got to say what you told me, though, because I caught the football, and I was like, you dropped the football, Hey, I was like, damn, bro, you can't even catch a football. That nigga say, but I sell eight balls, nigga. I say, God <laughs> damn, nigga, that nigga, God damn. Hey, hey so did, did hey, you? Well, no, nah, what I'm saying, though, like, so when my son was sneaking to the studio, <laughs> and when I finally found that and listened to his, his material and shit, he take I hear myself. I hear a younger version of me, my nigga. And the craziest thing about it, I hear them niggas from my lifestyle. So, like. He don't. He got it. Yeah, that shit it. just in his blood. Yeah, line, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. The nigga, the nigga five song he got right now called "Thug Into His Headstone." I think you sent it. That's the one you sent to. Yeah, him. he thug into his headstone. What nigga fifteen years old used the word headstone? I listened to the words young niggas use. A young nigga. That sound like some Tupac shit, shit, though. Headstone is a, 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 a organic word, old school type. Tombstone. Street nigga like nigga headstone. You don't thug into my headstone. Yeah, so you know some pop shit, dog. For real, he dead serious about that. Yeah. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Young nigga, he he got, you know what I'm saying? He got the whole shit. He got 20 gold teeth in his mouth and shit. 20 wall. 20 wall right now. Young nigga. You, you coach let, you coaching him? Yeah, that's what I was gonna like say. You, you, you let know, him do? I, I give him a page out my book or two, but for the most part, I want him to have his own identity. And I won't even introduce him to the world as my son. I just play it as a young nigga whose music I like and fuck with because I don't want no bias shit on him. From your name. Would you From let your son name. sign a 360 deal, nigga? I ain't gonna let my son sign no deal. We independent niggas. See, okay, that's what I like, nigga. That's what I like. Hey, so man. for 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 people who like, man, this shit done happened so many years ago from Strong. This and this, he need to give it up. The last thing he dropped was blasphemy. The last thing he dropped was Devin Hester. Like, what's he, next? Like, what? Like, why now? Why? Why now? 
I don't owe a nigga shit, bro. Nigga ain't never paid my rent. Nigga, don't, n- men don't suck my dick. Bitches suck my dick. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't give a fuck what a nigga talking about. <laughs> you dig what I'm talking about? I don't even look at that shit. Don't listen to it. I man, listen here. These hands right here got diamonds on them. I, my motherfucking sterner wheel, wood grain. Some of the shit. Most of these niggas can't even pronounce a forward, bro. You dig what I'm talking about? Most of these niggas stand with their mama. You dig what I'm saying? Every pussy they eat got motherfucking VD on it or some old <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? These the type of niggas who talking, bro. Niggas who really having their way with this shit ain't got time. Bro, I fuck with niggas who get real paper. Niggas who getting real paper do not have an opinion on another nigga. Because they getting real paper, bro. They got shit going on. So much shit going on in their own life. They ain't got time to worry about the six nines or the motherfucking Nas X's and who gives a fuck what these boys' preferences is. I'm getting money. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out how much this bitch owed me. Did such and such bring the paper in, bro? We got to go do the thing to get the thing. Come on, man. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, nah, for real. Though. So, 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 hey, listen, straight up. Man, as we wrap this interview up, though, what's next for Armstrong? What's coming up next? What, well, what show what, mixtape? What, what's next for me, man? I'm just a grace of God type nigga, bro. I'm a grace of God type nigga. Lil G. Rapping, rapping is not like my motherfucking goal, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck about rap, nigga. But if it's a, anywhere it's a bag to get, I'm going to get it. I go with my gut. I go with my vibe. So, like, at the end of the day, niggas keep, keep my name and blogs and shit like that there. So... I'm just being me, my nigga, and I'm saying some shit that I highly feel, and that shit went viral, and anything I say go viral, so I'm like, man, fuck it. These niggas keep my shit twisted and stirred up in the in the internet. I might as well get a bag behind this shit, you know what I'm saying? In the grace of God, you know, uh, y'all see all the logos and shit. Y'all see the uh, GG podcast. GG. Y'all see no motherfucking convo and all this shit. Some real niggas who uh, teamed up with me. And fucking with my game on an organic level, and it's mutual respect for that, though. And we just gonna do what we do, man. We ain't hating on no nigga, we ain't disrespecting no nigga, but we gonna goddamn show up, nigga. We gonna pull up on anything, nigga. We gonna bust dick when it's time to bust dick, and we gonna get the money. We gonna fuck you niggas whole. We gonna fuck you niggas auntie. We gonna fuck you niggas mamas, and even house. My nigga house fuck some of you nigga daughters. God damn man Hey hold on Hold on Hold on Hey so check this out though. Hold on Hold on So nah, check this out Nah I'm just kicking shit You got You got any um, How many songs you think You got recorded right now That Are you ain't in? released That ain't released yeah. Just give me a look Shit that me. ain't released I probably got about 30 Hey, I, yeah, that's, I want that's, I, nigga, hey, that's two mixtapes right hold on, there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Three mixtapes. I, I, I want, I want to hear a hot sixteen for you leave here. I ain't got no sixteen. They can suck my dick. God <laughs> damn. Hey, that's six, that nigga, shit ain't free, nigga. Did what I'm t- did what I'm saying, bro. These niggas talk, bro. They always talking, bro. They ain't never getting a nigga. A lot of people give me my flowers, my nigga. Straight up from the city, but it's a lot of niggas who speak like me, look like me, dress, try to dress like me. But won't give me my flowers and they just want to talk. So a lot of times I don't be want to give 16 or just leak no shit out because unofficially because them niggas going to steal my shit and recreate it and try to throw the shit out there for me or whatever, man. I hate them niggas, bro. I hate a lot of niggas in Orlando, bro, because I know they pussy as fuck, bro. These niggas who a lot of you niggas behind on the rap level. Is bitch made? Why? I swear to God, if it was a bitch a nigga in the city, then Daniel, I put his face on the wall, bro. But Daniel D boy is one of the faggotest niggas, bitch made niggas in the city. Q six, all them niggas, pussy bitch made niggas, bro. Them niggas bitch made niggas, and the reason why I call them a bitch made nigga because if you gonna talk about a nigga for over ten years and you ain't gonna do nothing to him, you a bitch nigga. You just talking, bro, clearly. You think I'm still talking about a nigga from 10 years ago? And I ain't shot a gun at him? I ain't slapped him? I ain't fucked this hoe or nothing? Niggas bitch made niggas, bro. And anytime I see any one of them niggas up, 
I swear to God, nigga, if you see Strong and D-Boy in the same room, nigga, move out the way. Move out the way. I will beat that nigga ass, bro. I will beat Mojo ass, bro. I'll be watching your shows from now on online. <laughs> Uh, so so ain't so ain't no ain't no amount of money can get y'all in the same room like on the show on the same bill can't know nothing. None Man, of that. I love creep. I love Mook boy. I love Flav. I love House. I love Dirty Red. Feel me? I love Heezy. Free Heezy. You feel me? Come House. on, man. No convo. I'm fucking with homie now, man. This shit for real, nigga. Hey, Fuck so nigga. for the for the people who last uh, this 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 is my last one. I don't know where bruh got. Um, for the people who like, man, what's GG Podcast? Like, why you going to do this? As big as you is, why GG Podcast? Like, why did you do this? Why I fuck with GG? Why you fuck with GG? Why I fuck with GG? Because GG fuck with me when I ain't had nothing. You see, you got all these niggas hitting my shit because I'm, I'm, I'm blogging right now. I'm blogging. You got all these big, big sites, which would have worked out in my benefit, but them niggas weren't fucking with me. Them niggas were laughing at me, bro. All them fuck niggas were laughing at me. Now them niggas trying to steal my motherfucking juice, nigga, and try to get likes and all that shit. Nigga, suck my dick, nigga. I ain't on that, bro. I fuck with organic niggas who been fucking with me when nobody wasn't fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with me because, goddamn, I done said the right thing and I'm blogging and shit. My name flowing around. All that fuck shit, bro. I ain't on that, bro. I would smoke one of you niggas in real life. I, I carry a real gun. You know what I'm saying, bro? For real, bro. This ain't Pac-Man. I tell my sons all the time, this is not Pac-Man, son. You don't get three chances in real life. I thought you were talking you get a shot, nigga, you, do the, you get the wrong case, you dead. Ain't no more, two more times. God, give me two more times. Yeah, this yeah. ain't no motherfucking Pac-Man, nigga. Fuck these niggas. If you feel in your heart, fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga, boy, move. Get out the way. Nigga, kill mm-hmm. you, bro. Hey, so, so, you so much just said that. Yeah, shit. yeah. So, with that being said, man, I definitely want to uh, say I appreciate we you. We appreciate the sit down. Yeah, man. yeah. We appreciate the sit down for you saying, no you know. Convo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate no convo, but, you know, giving you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not from the city, so coming to the city and hearing, like, how people down your name and being able to sit in a room. But, but on, the, on, the, on the spectator end, this is what I never understood. Yeah, yeah. If you're not from the city. I'm a firefighter. And, yeah, and I can't, you, I can't and, be running. And you hear <laughs> a nigga down in a certain nigga name yeah. for multiple years. Yeah, yeah. But I ain't put his hair cut on the sidewalk. What is that, man? Come on, bro. You cannot keep talking about the same shit, the same nigga. Oh, 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 oh. but you ain't doing nothing. You ain't going to do nothing yeah. to this nigga, man. So why you still, come on, bro. Go get you a, a freeze cup. Go get you some a motherfucking vinegar, motherfucking sausage or something. <laughs> come on, man. Let that man do what he do. Because clearly you ain't going to do nothing to him or do nothing about it. Yeah, yeah. That's where I'm from, bro. I'm real, bro. If you gonna stand on the shit you say and bust a nigga ass who you got a problem with, speak your shit, nigga. Talk gangster. But if you a puss ass nigga and you know you a puss ass nigga, because how you know you a puss ass nigga? Cause you do puss ass shit and ain't gonna do shit to a real nigga. You know, most pussy niggas know they pussy niggas. Straight up. D boy know he's a pussy nigga. That's why he do pussy nigga shit. And I swear to God. I ain't on no more probation. Ain't nothing held over my head. I see Daniel anywhere. Walmart, uh, Walgreens, uh, the dentist. I'm going to black that nigga out. It's an expectation like if he got his daughter in his arm. I'm going to black that fuck nigga out. God damn. damn, man. What happened to I swear to God, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, I know the nigga's son play football for... Nigga, I know the coach the nigga's son play hey. football for. I will pull up at the football game and blight that fuck nigga. I, if he say anything on the record, Allegedly. he say anything on the interview, I will pull up to that fuck nigga son football game and blight that fuck nigga. I. At his son, why? Come on, man. So I will blight that fuck nigga I, if he if he say anything about Scrum. I swear to God, he can't go to now another hit one of his own sons 
one game. I blight that fuck nigga out. Damn. Hey, take the drink away from over there, man. Ain't no <laughs> motherfucking drink. This real shit. I blight that fuck nigga out. Nigga straight up. He know that. That's the thing about it. He know that. From this he point, know of, from I this point on, on, you don't want to hit no bro. more this track. He know I ran down on him at motherfucking Cleo's, nigga. Cleo, that's classic how. weekend. It's a strip club. Strip club with a real forty-five. Damn, that nigga couldn't even. Man, he stop, couldn't even bro. see ass shaking. You ran down on him while the nigga was trying bro, to I'm see done, ass. Bro, I'm done. We done with the interview. I, man, come on, bro. That's a kid. Well, there you have it, man. Hey, we appreciate the sit down, though, man. Hey man, we gonna end this off the right way. On man. a po- on a, on a positive note, you know what I'm saying. Hey, be we- on the lookout. Be on the lookout for the Living Legend podcast. Straight up, straight up, Living Legend podcast. Yo, yo, yo. When you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, think yeah. about when you dropping it, you ain't gonna put that out there in the atmosphere. Birthday. Yet. Uh, we're gonna drop uh, Living Legend October 29th. Okay, y'all be on the lookout October 29th. Hey, 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 man, we want to end this the right way. And you already know how we finna end this. So do you want to introduce this song right yeah, here? Shit. Hey, man, hey, look. It's hey, classic, hey, nigga. Hey, hey, look. Hey, this I requested a, this shit, first hey, of all, hey, He requested nigga. this shit. I don't know nothing about this shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, definitely, I heard it. You know what I'm saying? On the way coming here, and I mess with it. I, I honestly see why they call you and Moot, you know what I'm saying, Shaq and Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I see why a lot of people call y'all Shaq and Kobe, and I hate that y'all situation, you know what I'm saying, like happened like how it did. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I really hate to see that because he seemed like a cool dude. Nah, that's my little brother. I love Moot, man. Yeah, yeah, he seemed like a cool dude. I and mean, Moot, 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 just like, you know, two men with egos. You feel me? At the end of the day, I jumped the gun on some shit that was uh, prematurely thought about. And did some shit that I, I kind of regret a little bit. I love my little brother. And, you know, I shouldn't have never, you know, went to the internet with our beef or, or goddamn put my hand on my little brother. Mm-hmm. Feel me? I love homie. And, you know, we ain't got to never speak again. I ain't tripping on that. I wish him much love and su- su- success with this shit we call the rap game. You know what I mean? He's an excellent rapper. And uh, I'm with for any nigga that I love to feed their children. Yeah, yeah, straight up. That's how the commendable, my boy. Yeah, yeah. He doing a lot. I see him fucking with a lot of rappers from Tom G to uh the Iceberg and all fucking that. So right. he he moving fucking around right. Florida. You real know what I'm saying? Niggas, real niggas, he's tied in. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. Tied yeah. in. Yeah, run, that, yeah. run that shit. You know yeah, I mean? so we gonna run it like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Yes, sir. Hey, what year this was? You remember what year this was? I want to see if you know what year this was. Nine, nine, ten. Stop it. What year this was, bro? See, these niggas don't even know what year this was. Everywhere. I'm the greatest of them all. I say, Hey, this nigga don't even know what year this was. <laughs> I'm hustling, baby. GG Podcast. I'm hustling, baby. I'm hustling, baby. It's, it's up. It's up. In the coops and low in the driveway. Just running in the night, grabbing four ways. Light the sky, how we keep the stone roll. Smoking a joint cost more than an iPhone. Drop the top in the middle of the median. Yellow diamond watch, look like Mark Jacob Heat in it. I'm pushing push out the jaw, all blows on them. More whips in the yard than the slave owner. I done cooked up more chicken than Popeyes. Stick my diamonds out the window, watch the time fly. But I do it like the big dog. Trap jump like a cooking up bullfrog. Big house, water bed with the Gucci fabric. Porsche truck, half car, half station wagon. I talk money cause I know that paper. Two phantom back to back, should've seen them haters. We was balling. I'm the greatest of them all. I say, don't disturb this dude. That shit don't 
bring back memories when you hear that dog. <laughs> I'm hustling.